Hello everyone, it's a Lost Daily, so this is going to be very short or very amazing. I hope you're ready. I am ready. Uh, we do have Holy Mantle, so we can go straight into here and... No bomb. Maybe a bomb? Wow. Explosive diarrhea. No. Explosive diarrhea. No. Tears down is uh, pretty bad. Health up Health is also up. pretty bad on account of how we are the Lost. We could come back into there with not really any sort of negative consequences because, of course, provided we don't take damage in that room, we can't die from doing so. It's been a long time since I played as the Lost. Uh, I've obviously I've played as the Lost, uh, having randomed it in the in the series. But the thing about randoming is that you don't ever roll Eden. I quite like playing as Eden. It's not XL floor, is it? No, it's dark. Uh, a speed upgrade is actually super helpful as the Lost. Also, we're now normal size, so there is that. Um, as the Lost, being able to duck and dive out of the way slightly quicker than you normally would be could be a could be a benefit. Uh, it could also be a horrible situation. Would you like to open that golden chest? It could contain something great, like Steven or Cricket's head or something. It could contain nothing but red hearts. It could contain some money. But if we open it. We have to hope that we get more keys for the next floor. Or we're not going to be able to open the item room, so... It's a gamble. If we get more keys somehow, I'd love to. And the screw is a great item, actually. Uh, a tears upgrade and the shot speed is something that you don't tend to talk about, but I do like it. And sure, why not? We are here, you know. We're only on this world once. YOLO, basically. Uh, we can't really use the key. Sorry. We can't use the fact we're going to get a blood bank to really get any more money. Um... As the lost, even Holy Mantle just doesn't protect you from playing the Blood Bank. But on the other sort of flip side, of said coin, God, I should do that. Um, like the payouts that we can get from the Blood Bank are not much use besides the money. I managed to uh, entice those spiders over there, which is quite miraculous. It means I don't have to deal with the bullshit of the big spiders until we can clear out some of the small spiders. Actually, managing to do this room without taking a shitload of damage is. You know, it's something to write home about. Don't know if my mum would be too impressed, but maybe my brother. You know, family support, that sort of thing. Solidarity between blood, blood family members. It's a, it's a thing. Look it up. A battery, great. We can re-roll if we really want to. Uh, honestly, I do not. But thanks for the opportunity. We should be blowing up tinted rocks, apart from the fact we can't. Because they could contain small rock. We didn't get a... A bomb at all on the previous floor, which is a bit of a shame. And we are in the cellar again, which is also a bit of a shame because the more cellars you do, the more likely you are to die. Because the cellars got these annoying bullshit enemies whose movement patterns I have yet to work out. Look, the lost is not too difficult as long as you've got Holy Mantle. Because the ability to fly plus the spectral tears basically mean you can camp out over rocks like a you know, Counter Strike move. Uh. Do we use this bomb or do we try and get into Isaac's room? We need three bombs to make Isaac's room really worthwhile because an Isaac's room that doesn't have a crawl space in it is functionally useless to us. It's not like we can get three spirit hearts sleeping in the bed. So, uh, I think we just hold on to the bombs. If we get three, we might be able to get something out of it. And if. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, if it's a dirty room, then we can save one bomb and maybe use it on. That tinted rock or something. But wow, this is a huge floor for considering we can't see where we're going. And it's not an XL floor. I'd like one of these things to die before you know I go grey, thank you. What are you talking about? You're already going grey. Yeah, love. Good job. Uh except I said go grey, so semantically you'd have to sort of you'd have to apply the fact that I'm talking about a future happening not just a future happening, but a, a completion of an ongoing process which is yet to even really get off the ground. It's not like it's accelerating particularly quickly. Now look, there's plenty of bombs for you to be next to, so just hang out next to your own bombs. We can do this without taking damage if we are careful. Yes, good job. Especially if he is careful to always spawn next to his own bombs. Perfect. We've got a magic mush. We might as well take. We're not going to do anything with the HP. Uh, and these are all kind of cool too. Uh, I think I will indeed replace... Than, I mean, the spirit hearts aren't going to do as... Why not take it? Spirit hearts aren't going to do as much good. We've got the halo from this floor. I think we just go. To hell we're trying to figure out what else we need to do. Uh, the Cambian Conception is completely useless. There's absolutely no reason to take it, apart from the fact that I could. 
And the reason I took the nail is that you can, I don't think it stacks, but you can use it for a damage bonus on a particular room, or just to crush some rocks if you don't have any bombs, for example. Now this is great, you can just hang out here. Let's use this for a damage bonus and completely replenish it. Done. Sorted. So that's actually going to help us out, having this extra damage bonus on a semi-regular basis. Uh, you said semi. Um, is going to win us a few more rooms, especially on these dank depths here. Although, the rock crushing thing is kind of a penalty, I guess. Because with all these mushrooms around, it's very easy to take damage from an exploding one. I'm going to use this here because I'm scared of these things. And there's nowhere for me to cheese it by hanging out. You know, there's no... Uh, no holes in the ground. It's just straight up trash. Why is there so much darkness in this run? This whole run is cursed with the curse of darkness. It's all there. This should be a nice and easy room and give us a couple of charges. He says and then immediately dies. Right, 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 right. Hubris man. Hubris man, that's my superhero name. He, he turns up and says, I can deal with this and then everyone dies and Hubris man loses. Wow. Wow, how did I not take damage there? I know what you think. That was pure, unadulterated, absolute, honest to God, spent years of my life practicing luck. There is no reason for me not to have been hit by that bullet. Uh, yeah, we'll take Death's Touch without even considering the reroll. Now we have Spectral and uh, range um, down. Piercing Shots, so everything can die super fast and I don't have to worry about it. Look how much damage we are doing without a nail charge, which is about to get fully charged. We should go to this shop. It's worth at least a look. Now, whenever I hear that squeak, we could go to that shop, had we keyed. Whenever I hear that squeak of the item refueling, recharging, I always want to press the spacebar. And press the spacebar. Sometimes you want to use that item on a room rather than between the rooms. Something here. Fairly a uh, lackluster floor, but we are doing so much damage. I'm hoping that a lot of people weeded themselves out by just accidentally taking two hits on the first first floor or so, which is, you know, perfect for me. Thanks, but I mean, I, I hate to wish misfortune on my fellow Isaac fans, Isaac players. Not not my fans. I mean, my fellow people who enjoy playing Isaac. This should be fairly easy, as long as it actually stays up and lets us dodge between the bullets. It's dead. That's really good. You're going so fast. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Breakfast. Uh, don't care about anything else on this floor. We shall go. This is a very fast run. Honestly, being the lost, <laughs> it's a fast run because I want to get between... I want to get out of each floor before it has the chance to notice I'm here and do me damage. Mm -hmm. So... Obviously, we're not actually going to... Hmm. Now I think about it, we can't play a self-sacrifice room at all. There's just no way of doing it. The uh, the mechanic doesn't trigger unless you spend HP on it. So even though we can continually step on the spikes and use a holy mantle, that, that does us no good. I would like to not be near this thing when it charges. I mean, our damage is pretty much outrageous. So what we're going to have to look for is... Uh, I took it. <laughs> I mean to take it, but I took it. Uh, is... An AWAS rune, basically. That is our... An AWAS rune or... Why is my framing going through? An AWAS rune or... The shovel is another option there. But, I mean, these things are not... You know, you can't really rely on them. There's no way of sort of forcing them to show up. It's not like we can... We can't go to every single shop and hope for the best. It's not something that's that common, I guess. Uh... I mean, that's true of everything in Isaac, really. You can't rely on anything showing up, but you can rely on vagaries. Flies, leave me alone. No flies on me. There are no flies in my house. What are you talking about? Um, you can rely... The more general something is, the more you can rely on it happening. So, you can generally rely on a tears upgrade or a damage... I pressed the E button by accident, but never mind that. Uh, yeah, we'll play this. Uh, you can't rely on something very specific, like... The shovel or an AWAS room. A way to the next floor, basically. It's a reasonably vague way of saying it, but there aren't that many ways of doing that, so we don't have much much in the way of options there. Uh, we're already on the second boss here, so we just need to not get hit twice by it, which should be fairly easy, because it's going to die quite quickly to our amazing barrage of tears here. And we've got two of these pills, which are luck downgrades, so uh, I guess we take one of them and uh, consider ourselves in luck to know what the one is before we take it. Uh, blank card. 
if we find something, if we find any card at all, ever, for goodness sake, please, then we can probably just, oh, don't take any more damage on this. I just got hit by being too close to an explosion. We are okay, but I don't really like putting myself in that situation. Secret room. No. I'll take this because I'm not coming back. I mean, walking into the fire is not going to end the run. <clears throat> but it's a good habit not to just walk into fires. You know? I'll use the uh, use the stompy thing here. Look, if we... Uh, hello? 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 Yeah, if we don't get hit, we can use the stompiness to crush these mushrooms and basically hope not to get... Uh, I'm trying to get close to it without touching the mushroom. I'm scared of the mushroom. Uh, we can hope to get an explosion and then... Holy Mantle will protect us from the explosion, which is exactly what happened. Mm, I don't really want anything else in here. Uh, Holy Mantle having protected us from the explosion. It means we just have to hope to not get it twice. So explosions, I finally got the thought out, even though it was a very long time ago that it was even slightly relevant to anything that was happening on your screens, loyal viewers. Thank you for the flies. I wouldn't mind something sort of... You know, a useful spacebar item. It sounds a bit rude to our current spacebar items, but finally found. Oh, brilliant! Perfect. Thank you. I do want to take blank card. We don't have a single card. We've not, we've not found one. <laughs> That's uh, I don't like this. So I'm actually going to cheese this slightly and hide behind these um, boots because I feel that's probably the sensible way. We are going to Mom's heart, by the way, not Mom. So there's only a couple of floors that we can't reach. It also gives us that little bit of extra time to actually, you know, find the thing we need to get past that floor. Please kill the boss. There we go. Kill the devil. Yes, and a decent, decent upgrade for ourselves here. This could actually end the, the streak. It's not really a streak, but it is a run uh, because I'm really bad at Krampus. So I'm hoping that I can get enough shots in before he does. Anything too heinous in brilliant. Yeah, that's a decent damage upgrade. So we're actually pretty strong. And I'm not going to go back for blank card, even though it could turn out to be amazing. If you found a Yarrow rune, for example, it could really nail home the amount of points that we get on this run, just because it's outrageously good to be able to continue the... Uh, uh, that actually does nothing for us, because we can't take damage. So. Um, yeah. We want something like the Yarrow rune with blank card, but since we can't really rely on any runes showing up right now, we can't fucking... We haven't found a, a single... Have we found any cards yet? We might have done, but I couldn't tell you what. I'm not going to take this in case it's telekills. I'd like the points for doing this room. But it's amnesia. amnesia. It's not ideal. Do we have two curses? Mm. Did we already have Curse of the Lost? Perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. These are those enemies where you just sort of hope that they don't shoot towards you when they do come down. Uh, I guess... What do we want from this, really? Give it five cents, see if we can win anything awesome that I didn't anticipate. We did get that luck downgrade, so I think we just explode it. Yeah, a bit of cash. Doesn't seem too bad, and we did get our bomb back. Thanks to a uh, contract from below, which I bought on the previous floor. Uh, I didn't really talk about it, because I was waffling on about trying to remember how to speak English uh, at the time. But yeah, I picked up contract from, no, humbling bundle. Because it will double all of our basic consumable drops, or it'll, it'll force them to be double drops. It won't double a double drop. <clears throat> but it just gives us those few extra consumables, and those few extra consumables could be all the difference in points, or indeed something like the stars card, which gets us out of something we don't want to be doing. Or the devil card, which is a damage upgrade. I mean, the stars card is just a free key as well at this stage. Not that I know where the hell I'm going, so... It's possible that if we use the stars card now, it's actually a bad thing for us. We only have one key. Oh, shit, I took damage there. Not brilliant, but we made it work. Locust horns is just okay. As they say, it's fine, but not very... It's not premium. It's certainly not a premium item. Get rid of the fires, because the fires could actually put us in a very terrible situation. Plenty of bombs this time. Nothing amazing in here, but... I would have liked to have done that on the first floor, because if it had been great on the first floor, it really could have given us a massive advantage. But it looks like we're not really going to need one too much right now. What floor are we on? Depths one, okay. So we could explode these and see if we get something swell. <clears throat> Stars card is 
pretty good though, so the sun is also pretty good. I think the stars will get us into the why did I even do that room? Into the item room. Since we don't currently have a key, I think the correct thing to do is take the stars card. Ensure we can get to the item room on the next floor. We already know about the amnesia pill, so we're not accidentally gonna take that twice. Try and get the maximum lump of coal bonus you can as well. Also, do be aware of the uh, explode rock and don't step on it. We're doing fine here. I mean, you can tell we're doing fine because we're the lost and still alive. We're not going to see another... Um, well, there's no reason not to take it. Uh, we're not going to see another Krampus fight, so we don't need to worry about that either. I will see if I can find the shop. I'm feeling cocky, feeling confident. There is a shop right here, or it's a library, and there's another shop to find. Uh, it's two keys as well. It's actually, yes, absolutely. The keys make me feel like maybe we take the stars card. It doesn't matter. I mean, the sun card beats a room for us, basically, provided the room is within the damage range that the sun card can produce for us. But it also shows us the, the, the map. And knowing the map is often very useful, but I'm thinking in this situation, because we basically don't need to know where we're going, we're way ahead of time. This, the noise this thing is making is freaking me the fuck out. It would show us where the secret room is, which is true. But it wouldn't show us where the super secret room is. Yeah, let's not take an amnesia pill. We'll go in here, though. Let's just fire this and two coins. And two bombs, so that's okay. Kind of okay. Doesn't really make up for two keys spent, but we have got another key. Oh, it's pretty bad. Please don't hit me. We're alive. Shop. Store credit. I think this could work for us. There's only one shop left, and it could contain greed. But I think we can uh, at least keep hold of store credit until we learn that greed is or is not in said shop. Good. Not taking too much damage, and we are getting our keys back fairly quickly because we're getting two at a time. Thanks to the contract from below. And of course, Mom's key is going to pay out extremely well with these chests that we continue to open. So as long as we can keep getting chests, which should not be too difficult, they're not a red. We should at least pay for uh, Mom's key very quickly. We should do this. We open that for free. I wouldn't mind a tears upgrade. I mean, having good damage is great. But I feel like the problem with having high damage, low tiers is that if you ever miss a tier, that's a, that's a large part of your damage that is not happening. It's a huge DPS hit if you miss any tier when you've got low tier, high damage. Whereas if you've got high tier, high damage, then one missed tier. Like, if you had uh, a shot rate that was doubled, but your, um, your damage was halved, you'd be doing the same DPS, but every missed shot would be half as prop half as much a problem as a missed shot in in the reverse situation where you had high damage low shot low shot rate which is what we have now so i wouldn't mind trading maybe skinny odd mush so that we could trade some of the damage that we're doing for a much better rate of fire it would make me feel a lot better about the situation it wouldn't really manifest itself as a particular uh, i don't think there's any point right now in Did we find it we didn't find it Ooh. This kind of makes, this is basically what I asked for. Um, we can charge up a big shot, and then if we're feeling cocky, we do have to be mom actually, that's a bit scary. Um, if we're feeling cocky, we can try and charge up a big shot during a room, but usually we're gonna be wanting to just charge up a shot before we get into a room and then spam out. We're alive? We're alive, okay. That's interesting, so Holy Mantle doesn't actually protect you from what those enemies do. Also, no greed in the shop. Um, but it does protect you from the damage they do, so that when you teleport into the other room. It's interesting, it's good to know. So the shop's probably in this direction. It's kinda nice having the um Loki's horns come out with the the chocolate milk charge shop. Oh, this is all shit. <laughs> Don't even have a reroll. What am I supposed to do here? I mean, we take the card? The sun. That's pretty good. I've got a free card. I could have afforded it, we do have 91 cents, but every single one of those cents counts to the swagger bonus at the end of the game. I'm gonna try and find a super secret room. Maybe one here? I don't think there's gonna be one there. Ah, 
it. Okay, that seems fair. Demon tail. Oh, I might as well, because we can. Nah, look. This is very min maxi. Wait, what happened to my. Uh... Oh, I'm not going back to that. But. We could, if we wanted to, um, pick up black hearts. Replace all red hearts with black hearts. I think is what Demon's Tail does. At least makes black hearts much more likely to drop, but drops way less health in general. Who did it? I'm surprised we've beaten Mom. Uh, Oh, what am I saying? But it means we can pick up the black cards, basically, for a tiny little few extra points. But if they do drop, we can grab them. Whereas we can't pick up the red hearts, which would be fewer points. But it might make up for a few hits, I don't know, some of the damage penalty that we've taken so far. In a second, we'll be able to, um... Oh, fuck, I got hit by that bastard. So this could be the end of it, because boss rush is actually pretty difficult right now. Uh, simply because we're not that strong. We're not boss rush strong, that's for sure. At least we've got Champion Gurdy who is not shooting at us. And in a second we'll be able to uh, use the, the nail to increase our, our strength somewhat disproportionately. And if we get scared, we can... No, we can't teleport out. The sun card is not a teleport card. What are you talking about? Man? Oh shit, now that I've used it, I can't cheese it up by hiding out over the... Uh, the, the rocks. In fact, I may accidentally crush the the barrel, so I should explode those at my earliest convenience. Good, it, good. Oh shit! Yeah, jump. Good. One hit, and we're dead. Um, this could be the end of it. I'm actually prepared for that. Funnily enough, I mean, believe it or not, I am prepared to lose this run at this moment in time. Although, fuck me. Where are you, bloke? Where are your eyes? I hate this version of the bloke though. Jesus Christ. Do the explosions? Like, there's a very strong chance that we'd accidentally get caught by an explosion, which doesn't fill me full of joy. Try and kill this fucker before this fucker starts chasing us down with his shooting bollocks. Oh, that guy took like two hits. You can see our, our chocolate milk charge shots are really good. I tried to scratch my nose and then this thing chose that moment to uh, shoot at me. It's a motherfucker. There we go. I'm just gonna uh, address that. <laughs> oh, hi, hi. Okay, good. We are back in the room. That actually went really well. This fucker could do me some damage as well because these corn shots, they travel fast and far. Right, good. You could actually kill the other enemy in the room, so I'm happy with that. Sounds like we've got. Oh, no. Another one where we really want to keep our distance. We really want to shoot those fingers. Uh, but. At least we have good range. This enemy is terrible when you have poor range. I don't know how I managed to avoid those. I always get hit by fishes, but, you know, let's not look at gift horse in, in Laos. Let's not look at a gift horse in Laos. Have you ever been to Laos? It's actually quite a nice place. I would recommend it. It's in uh, Lincolnshire, if you're wondering. Don't spawn on top of me. Right, Another... I mean, some of these champions have actually got a lot less HP than their... Both. Muggle counterparts. There's one more. Gurdy. There we go. Excellent. But this one could really do me some damage. I don't know if this stacks, so let's use it again. See if we do more damage. Oh, shit. How the fuck are you not hitting me right now? Please, stop doing that. We need to make sure these spiders have no chance of coming near us. At least our shots kill both sets of spiders, right? That's... Small mercies, right? Small mercies. Say what you can get. Which one do we kill? What? Oh, you fucking death with his size. I literally didn't see it. That is really upsetting. We did so well. Oh, you bastard. Look, that was a good run. Boss Rush is hard as the last. And we were strong, but I just literally did not see that side. It was black on black. So that's me done, I'm afraid. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time.